Hello and welcome again uh, to Sam Moments. This is actually our 11th volume or 11th edition. Question for you. Why should you set big goals with short deadlines? Now, I know what you're thinking. You probably think I'm, I'm talking about the book that I wrote by the same name, but it's not. Actually, I probably should have uh, covered it uh, in that book, but I didn't. You know, the, this week's theme uh, could have been called The Big Goals Paradox or The Big Goals Quandary. Because it almost sounds absurd, doesn't it? To set big goals with short deadlines, especially for many people who, who uh, feel like, like, like certainty and, th and like to play it safe. But you know what? There's a real logic in it, and here's why. Work expands to fill the time available. Now that's a truism I heard in, in time management many, many years ago. Let me repeat that for you. Work expands to fill the time available. You know, if you allow more time to do something, guess what? It'll take more time to do it. If you don't, you won't. It's just that simple. Ever take uh, twice as long to, to get a project done than you know that it really should have taken? How about, have you ever tried to squeeze a 30 minute workout into an hour? Now, I know I have. I, you know, it's, I spend too much time talking with people usually. But you know, the, the true, it's true with tasks. Uh, it's true with setting goals. It's true with exercise. It's even true with the drawers at your home and the stuff that's in it. Now let me test a theory. How many of the drawers in your home are empty? Probably none. I know I tried that experiment at home one time. I said, honey, let's keep one drawer empty and see if we can do it. We couldn't. You see what I mean? You know, the more space that you have, whether it's, it's visible, like stuff, or invisible, like time, things tend to expand to fill the space that you allow for it. You know, trust me, this is, setting big goals and short deadlines has helped me achieve things that I never thought that I would in my lifetime. And I know you've heard about them before. It's like we building the playground from the campaign to raise the money to build it in just 49 days. I, I'd set goals to, to learn how to jump rope uh, at the age of 40. And I, I was able to, to build, a, build this building in, in kind of record time. And, and actually, in of course, the 50 Capitals trip. To, to finish the 50 Capitals trip in 50 days was a feat, but it was a big goal with a short deadline. Actually, we got it done in 44 days. If you do this, if you set big goals with short deadlines, I can virtually guarantee that you'll achieve more in your life. You'll, many, many things that you'll, you'll find. You'll get more done. Uh, you'll achieve more. You'll regret less. Uh, you'll push yourself beyond your comfort zone. You'll be more efficient, uh, focused, organized, and disciplined. It's amazing how, how well this, this thing works. Now, it also reminds me, of a quote by Daniel Burnham, who is a famous architect who is credited with reviving Chicago after the great Chicago fire and uh, largely designing our entire lakefront. He said this, make no little plans for they have no magic to stir men's blood. And that's it. I, when I was preparing for uh, today's CM moments, I realized it. There's magic in it. There's magic in setting big goals with short deadlines. Try it. Let me know how it goes. Appreciate you listening to me today and uh, trying out this new theory, an old theory, but uh, try it. Set big goals short deadlines and let me know how it goes. Have a great week.